cosmic catastrophes, like the early disasters that destroyed Mercury's mantle and formed Saturn's rings, have shaped almost every aspect of the solar system. But now, as we move forward in time, disasters even determine the order in which the planets line up. Today, traveling out from the sun, the order of the outer gas giants is Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. But once, things were very different. Early in the history of the solar system, Jupiter and Saturn kind of wandered around at different distances from the sun. And that's because they were continually interacting with the leftover planetesimals in the solar system. That affected their orbits. As the orbits of Jupiter and Saturn fluctuated, they set off a cosmic chain reaction that tore the solar system apart. Number eight in our countdown to the ultimate planetary catastrophe, the orbital maelstrom. Five hundred million years after the planets formed, Jupiter elbowed inwards toward the sun, while Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune drifted outwards. Jupiter eventually orbited around the sun exactly twice for every one time that Saturn did. This pivotal moment is known as the two-to-one resonance. Two-to-one resonance is a very strong gravitational interaction when taken over millions of years. And having Jupiter and Saturn in a two-to-one resonance leads to profound consequences throughout the solar system. It shakes the orbits of the other objects up, it leads to crossing orbits, and it can lead to giant impacts. Saturn and Jupiter's resonant gravity destabilized the orbits of Uranus and Neptune. The resulting game of planetary musical chairs ignited the largest and most long-lasting catastrophe ever to shake the solar system. When Jupiter and Saturn reached that 2-1 resonance, it imparted a lot of gravitational energy that essentially stirred up the outer solar system. Neptune and Uranus were thrown into much higher orbits, and they even switched places. So now the order is Uranus-Neptune. In the beginning, it used to be Neptune followed by Uranus. Neptune and Uranus may have switched orbits, not once, but several times but they were the lucky ones. Several planets were most likely hurled out of the solar system altogether, doomed to wander forever in the blackness of interstellar space. It's almost a certainty that our solar system has lost planets along the way during this sort of uh, celestial billiards that's played and planets swapping places. There's even some evidence perhaps that um, Jupiter and Saturn may have wandered into the inner solar system to near the position where the Earth is today before wandering back out to their present locations. But the two-to-one resonance was just the beginning. As the gas giants searched for stable orbits 4.1 billion years ago, they ignited the most wide-ranging cataclysm ever to engulf the solar system. So far, anyway. 